Also, I said that a bell would be rung. If you came in through our Belknap parking lot, you'll notice that our bells for the Moore Tower have arrived. They will be installed on Monday, and we are here to consecrate those today. We have with us a representative from the bishop's office, Reverend Carl Rolfs, who has come to represent the Episcopacy and to lead us in that consecration. And you will find the words for the consecration in the insert. Most High God, I consecrate these bells for the healing of the nations, that those who hear them shall be helped and strengthened in soul and body through Christ the Lord of earth and heaven. Amen. Eternal God, who on this mountain will for all people destroy the shroud that is cast over them and swallow up death forever, pour down your blessing upon these bells that their voice may call upon the hearts of the faithful and grant all who hear your strength, your wisdom, and your justice so that your children being made perfect in you through your grace may attain the glory which you have ordained for them. Lord, this is our God, for whom we have waited. Let us rejoice and be glad in God's salvation. God, who makes all things new, accept our offering of these bells which we consecrate today. Grant that in this generation and those that are to come, their voice may continually call your people to praise and worship with all the saints through Jesus Christ our Lord. See, O God, among mortals, coming down to the bride and for her to us. Almighty and everlasting God, these ropes will toll the bells we have dedicated to you. Without these ropes, the bells have no voice. With them, the hands of those who ring them will bring the sweet sound of your presence for all to hear. May your church be like these ropes of many threads, insufficient alone, but together made strong through faith and service. And the threefold cord is not easily broken. Amen, amen, amen. amen.